Okay, tell me honestly, does it look like my Squishmallow is getting roasted to the flames? <laughs> I'm afraid it might, but the camera's set up, so we're gonna run with it. Hello there, my beautiful, lovely internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am not a super spontaneous person. You know, generally speaking, I like having some notice for things. But a crazy opportunity when it came to my prosthetic socket arose, and I had to say yes. So it has been super uncomfortable to wear prosthetics lately. I kind of go into more of that later in the video. But the outcome of this trip was unbelievable cool. Uh, so let me take you back to a couple of weeks ago when like 14 hours before I got in a plane I had no plans of going anywhere until my phone rang. But first a quick word from our sponsor. Thank you so much to our sponsor today, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is truly a triple-A game with over 600 champions blessed with unique skills for both mobile and PC. In this game you get to explore millions of combinations and master tactics as you take on raid bosses, campaign and arena battles like battling the Shepherd. One of their biggest, baddest, and scariest bosses to ever set foot in Talera is Hydra. This Hydra clan boss monster has multiple heads, each with a different ability, and requires a different strategy to destroy. Raid Shadow Legends is a turn-based RPG game. Raid just celebrated three years as one of the top RPG games out there. Congrats. Some of their best features and updates include another amazing addition to the game, Doom Tower. This game mode introduces a whole terrifying new world of bosses to slay. Right now, Raid is running a trick-or-treat promotion where new players can win a bunch of real-life and in-game prizes, including a $1,000 Amazon gift card, we could all use that, and some of the best legendary Halloween champions in Raid. Anyways, it's all free and it's super easy. All you need is your Raid player ID, just download Raid with the link in my description or QR code on screen, and then head to trickortreat.polarium.com. Enter your details, spin the wheel, and get your prize. Sophie is not one of the prizes that's offered, I'm sorry. Never has there been a better time to get started. So new players, use the link in my description or QR code on screen, and you'll get a free starter pack worth almost $30, free champion, Tyrell, and also this cool in-game loot. You will find these rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. On a personal note, I think it's really important to have games that can kind of distract us. And this one is a very well-known, well-reviewed, and super fun game. So thank you so much to Raid for sponsoring today's video. Let's jump back into it. So there I was, sitting in my sunroom, playing tennis balls with my dogs when my phone rang and it was my buddy Stevie. And he said, Joe, you doing anything tomorrow? I thought we were gonna you know, hang out, do something. I was like, ah, no, I, I've got some free time. And he was like, how about you hop on a plane and fly down to Texas and come to this conference and let Extremity Prosthetics make you a new socket in less than a day. It is way too early. I woke up at 2.30 to get to the airport because we're going to San Antonio. I'm going down to a conference where a prosthetics company has offered to make me a brand new socket, try out some new stuff, see how it feels. Why not? Let's do it. Ready, set, go. We are packed. Lights are off. Let's go to the airport, baby. As soon as I landed in San Antonio, I got picked up and we immediately went to a prosthetics office where Extremity had brought their sockets and everything they needed to make me a new leg. And we got to work. The distal impact. Oh. It was really cool being back in the lab area and actually seeing this process like literally come together. So put together within about an hour, maybe an hour and a half of getting off the plane, I was walking around in a new socket. When I say that this is not normally how the process goes, I can't stress that enough. What they did for me here usually takes weeks of appointments and it actually felt really good. So with my new socket made, I decided to give it, you know, 12 hours before sitting down and actually kind of giving my initial thoughts on it. Because you know, sometimes sockets feel great for a little while, but then you realize that there are issues causing pain. So I wanted to walk in it a bit before really diving into things. So here's the thing about making a prosthetic. Usually this process takes weeks. It's multiple appointments of fittings. You gotta get casted, then they create some things. You try it out, see if it works. A couple weeks later, you go back, maybe you get a final leg. It is a lot of trips to your prosthetist's office, which is great because I love my prosthetist. He's great to hang out with, but it is like a 60 minute drive. And if something is wrong and I need a new leg, it can be weeks of having to just go without. So the company that wanted to fly me down has a very different approach to making prosthetic sockets that brings that, you know, weeks long waiting period down to like an hour or two. Legitimately, I got off the plane in San Antonio at 1.30 and by 4.15, travel time included, I was walking out of the prosthetics office with a brand new socket that so far feels really good. So I'm really excited to have this for a lot of different reasons. Uh, primarily, it's awesome to kind of go through a new process that is so fast and I think could help so many people, so many amputees, like speed up that prosthetics turnaround time so much. But additionally, the part that is very cool to me is that these are adjustable. 
Your limb is constantly changing. It's shrinking, it's, I almost said growing, it's not growing back, but it goes through a lot of changes over your lifetime and even sometimes daily. Sometimes you have a spot that starts really hurting, your prosthetic is rubbing on it, that's no good. You gotta get that fixed, but in the past you've had to like drill out your socket or add pads, you know, try things like that. These are entirely adjustable by using a heat gun, heating up the area that seems to be problematic for you and literally just pushing it out or pulling it back in or whatever you need to do. And it's not damaging the socket. It's not grinding it out. It's not making changes to it that are irreversible sometimes. And this is something you can continue to do over time. You can modify it as your body needs. That in and of itself is really, really, really cool because my prosthetist back in Colorado is crazy talented. He's fantastic. I adore him. I still get really nervous handing over my leg because you tell them what's going on, they make their best guess at how to adjust for that issue. And sometimes the changes that are made are kind of hard to reverse and you never want anything to kind of compromise your socket or, you know, walking out of there feeling worse. With this, making those changes has become so much easier. And we're at a, a prosthetics conference where they are introducing this and showing it off to the world. And it's been really cool to be at the booth, see the demo going on and have so many prosthetists be like, sorry, what, what are you doing? Cause this is not the normal process for making something like this, but also so in addition to getting a new socket and trying this out, I got to be a part of the prosthetics convention that's going on right now. And oh my God, things that are being made are really, really cool. It has been so awesome to walk around, talk to people, see these hands, which my friend Alexis from Stump Kitchen has one of, control it to like pick up a coffee cup, which you did not smush because it knows when to like stop gripping things because science. So as a reference point, I've been down on the conference room floor for like three hours today, walking around, talking to people, People seeing things. I have not been up on my feet for three hours in months because it is very painful. I was able to do it and it felt okay. I really wanted to get kind of back into normal daily life with the socket, see how it felt before kind of finishing up this whole experience. And initially, unfortunately, I was experiencing some valve issues. I don't know what kind of valve or suction got. I you know, really ticked off in a former life. But no matter what tool is being used, like what kind of valve, I always have issues with them. And if the valve isn't working right, the leg doesn't keep suction, it gets really uncomfortable, really painful. So a couple days ago, I was able to make it up to Denver to see the guys again and hopefully get it fixed. But I just made it up to Extremity's main office here up in Denver. And hopefully if it gets fixed, I'm actually gonna wear it to go swing dancing tonight. We'll see how it goes, let's head in. And drum roll please, it worked. They got it all taken care of and I actually did go swing dancing later that night. I don't have any footage, I wish I could show you some, but I just went there to really like immerse myself in it, see how it felt, get back into it. And I was able to dance on this leg for like an hour and a half. I had to call it at that point because I knew I was kind of pushing it too far, but wearing this every day since, it feels fantastic. Also, I really like kind of just the design and the look of it, it's a little bit more sleek. So I may have mentioned this earlier in the video, but this video is not sponsored by Extremity at all. They flew me down there, they paid for you know my accommodations, but none of that was like based on the idea that I had to make a video. I wanted to make this to share my experience because in my mind, I was like, if this works, it opens up so many doors for amputees. And so if you are an amputee, if you know one who's maybe looking for a different kind of socket, I cannot recommend more checking Extremity out. I've linked their website down below and then talking to your prosthetist about it. Because the ease of creation and for me, most importantly, the ease of being able to edit and modify the shape, that's, I feel like the term game changer is used too much, but it, it really is a game changer for prosthetics. I will continue to be supporting this company, following along with them, trying out more of their stuff. Okay, also side note, the material that they have created for this, it almost feels more giving to walk on. Like it's, it's solid, right? Like it's not like a bendy flexible socket, but stepping into it, it's almost like there's more give in a really good way where it's just not as sharp on the parts of my leg that can be pain spots. And I really love that they actually care, genuinely seem to care about amputees. Trace especially, who is who is the, the guy who made this for me, it is so clear that he and his team like really have a passion for making things work right. Thank you, Extremity, for getting me down there, getting me a new socket. It's been working really well. What a cool experience. Uh, I think I'll try to be spontaneous more often and say yes to opportunities because 
this was great. Thank you again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. All their links and information are down below. As with every video, a huge thank you to my beautiful patrons over on Patreon for sponsoring my channel and what I do here. And most importantly to you watching this video right now, thank you for hanging out on this journey with me, for letting me talk about stuff that excites me, that is benefiting my life, and I think could help a lot of other people's lives. You could be anywhere else in the world doing anything else, but you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes, and I really appreciate that. I love you guys, I'm thinking about you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.